In this presentation, I'm going to hit you with the most concise, rapid-fire tips for battling imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome is a miserable affliction that will drain your brain and play with your emotions. But it is not unbeatable, and with these 10 tips, I plan to show you how to conquer it. 1. Plan your success. Imposter syndrome is an irrational thought process. The best way to rewire your brain to ignore that irrationality is to fight it with rationality. Remind yourself what success looks like, and you will be forced to acknowledge when you achieve it. The big thing here is focusing on what is real. Imposter syndrome will try to trick you into believing you're fake. Don't let it. If reality is telling you that you are legit, believe it. 2. Admire your failures. It takes a lot of guts to fail. If you're doing something that doesn't risk failure, then you aren't doing something very challenging. This is easier said than done, but saying it can be an easy way to start doing it. Remind yourself that failure is good. Failure is growth. Failure reminds you what is real and what is fake. 3. Recognize real lies. The other side of the coin from the last tip is that real lies do exist. You probably aren't as fraudulent as you think you are, but there are frauds out there. Look for them, then look for the differences between you and them. You'll find that there are more differences than you think. 4. Catch yourself slipping. Imposter syndrome gets worse when you go into the negative thought spirals that cultivate it. But these thought spirals have to start somewhere. Start by thinking about when the last time you thought of yourself as a fraud. When did that event start? Why did it start? When it happens again, walk yourself through your thought process. Eventually, you'll be able to see it as it's happening. Then you may even be able to see it before it starts. 5. Be humble. The problem with imposter syndrome is that it makes you think that you are being humble. But as C.S. Lewis said, Humility is not thinking less of yourself. It's all about thinking of yourself less. What you need is to stop thinking about how fraudulent you feel. But that doesn't mean you need to focus on thinking about yourself differently. You just need to take your mind off yourself for a bit. 6. Find a mentor. Whether it is a real-life mentor or the advice of an online guru, if you find someone that you can recognize as real and emulate them, then it will help you feel more real yourself. 7. Seek out new opportunities. This will keep you from getting bogged down in a narrow sense of identity. Imposter syndrome is both cultivated by and cultivates within a sense of being limited. Combat this by consciously expanding your horizons. 8. Challenge your perfectionism. Perfectionism is one of the most common forms of imposter syndrome. It tells you, I can't be legitimate because I'm not performing optimally. The thing is, nobody performs optimally. Seek out people you instinctively recognize as legitimate and find their flaws. This may sound petty, but remind yourself that nobody is perfect, and you'll feel more at ease about your own flaws. 9. Say your name. This is one of the strangest tricks out there, but saying your name aloud will release chemicals commonly associated with confidence. I am awesome works, but your name is awesome is better. 10. Stop thinking. Start doing. If you're suffering from imposter syndrome, nothing is going to change if you're just stewing in your own anxiety. Some of the tips on this list might sound strange but they all have something in common. There are no mental gymnastics you can do to fight mental gymnastics. Fight the good fight. Remember your worth and good luck out there. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.